everyone, I'm Jessie from Nailed It NZ and today I'm going to show you how to do some Simpsons nail art. As you can see, there are four different designs here, so if you don't want to do all of them, you can always just use one as a feature nail. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already to see heaps more nail art and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. As always, start off with a base coat and then paint all of your nails with two coats of white polish. Then grab a light brown polish and make three or four thick circles all over your nail. I did this design on the index finger. Once that's dry, use pink polisher paint on the donut icing, making it a little bit wobbly at the edges so it looks natural. Next it's time to add the sprinkles, so use red, blue, yellow and green nail polish to do so. Now you could just leave it like this, but I decided to outline it to go with the cartoon look of the Simpsons in general. Just use a tiny brush and some black polish to outline each donut and its icing. The next nail is the speech bubble nail with Homer's well-known woohoo on it. Use black to paint on the bubble shape and then carefully add the lettering. By the way, I was thinking of doing a whole Simpsons series because this one's just really about Homer. But I was thinking Marge, Lisa, Bart, Maggie, etc. Is this something you'd be interested in? Leave me a comment down below to let me know. Alright, so after you've done the basic lettering, you can eye it up and decide whether you need to thicken it up a bit. I did, and so as you can see, I just went over it again, evening things out. To finish off this nail, I grabbed a blue polish and used it to fill in the outside of the speech bubble. You may want to use a combination of the bottle brush and a nail art brush for this part, just to make it a bit easier. If you need to touch up any of the black, do that now, and then we'll move on to the man himself, Homer Simpson. Outline him in black polish, using a picture as a guide if necessary. I'll leave some helpful links down below for this. Obviously this is massively sped up here, but just go nice and slow when you're doing it. Once you've done the basic outline, you'll probably need to fine up some details. Use some white for this, and then re-outline any dodgy areas with black. The rest is pretty simple, colour him in yellow, then add tan for his beard area. Add two little black pupils, some teeth and hair, and then we're on to the pinky. For this we're going to start off with a rectangle and then add in some of the details. A line at the top and at the bottom, and a triangle under the top one. Then a little rectangle in the middle, and it's time for some colour. Use red polish to fill in the label and make a dot above it, and then use yellow-brown for the triangle section. Grey goes at the top and the bottom, and finally paint on duff with thin black lines. Clean up around your cuticles and then apply a top coat. I have a tricky way of doing this to minimise the risk to the design. Just do one or two strokes over the key areas of the art, and then once that's dry, go over it again properly. We all hate smudge nail art. And that's how this design turned out. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below and subscribe to see all my latest tutorials first. Thanks heaps for watching and I will see you later. Once that's done, dab two shades of red and also a white nail polish onto your palette. Then use a dotting tool to pick up a mix of both red colours. Make three dots on your nail, starting from the middle and then going out to ensure it looks...